Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Tonight, I'm joined here with True Hero. Hey, True Hero, how you doing? Hello, I'm doing all right. How are you? Good, good. Also joined here with Maiden. Hey, Maiden. Hey, Maiden. Hello, everyone. <laughs> and uh, tonight, we're going to be talking about the World of Warcraft, uh, The War Within, the newest expansion coming out. But before we get started, um, I kind of just want to let True Hero and Maiden introduce themselves and tell a little bit about. So I don't know if Hero, you want to start out? Yeah, sounds good to me. Um, well, I'm Hero, um, True Hero. Um, I'm in the Discord server mod for Nathan. Uh, I do a lot of out of bound stuff, um, help a lot out there, and uh, I love being in this community. Nathan, uh, you want to take over again? Yeah, absolutely. So um, thanks, Hero, for your introduction. Uh, uh, Maiden, you want to give a talk a little about yourself? About yourself? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, hi, I'm Maiden. I'm uh, new to breaking out of stuff, but I really enjoyed this community. Everyone's been so nice and so caring. I wanted to hang out a lot and break out of a lot of stuff with me and vice versa, and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, great to have both of you in the ATN Discord. Um, I know both of you can speak from experience in there. It's been a lot of fun hanging out with everyone, out with everyone. and uh, sure. getting to know new people. Like, yeah. And I feel like we're building a really cool community there of OOB. Um, Hero, I guess before we get started, I'll ask you first, how, how long have you been playing World of Warcraft altogether now? Um, well, depends on how you see it. On my own account, not for too long. Uh, I grew up with parents that play World of Warcraft, though, so in that kind of regard, since I was seven, and I'm now almost 20. All right, awesome. Uh, Maiden, how long have you been playing WoW for? Um, I'm actually in the same experience. I have been playing um, since I can first remember. Uh, I've been sitting on my dad's lap and uh, leveling a character. <laughs> That's cool. Um, I I was told when I was super young, I was doing I was like bossing uh someone else in my family around like no you have to go that way and whatnot. Um, but I I'd say I've been playing this game for about twenty years. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm in the same boat as you guys. I been playing WoW since I can remember as a little kid. Uh, I used to watch my older brother play because he was really involved with World of Warcraft, and I actually played since the early days of vanilla, but. I didn't know what I was doing at all. I was just a kid. So I would spend all my time at the auction house spending all my gold. <laughs> yeah. And that's all I really did. And I just kind of walked around and didn't really know how to level, didn't really know how to quest. So it's definitely come a long way. But uh, I, well, I'm really excited. I know you guys are really excited for the newest expansion coming up, The War Within. Oh, yeah. Um, Hell, yeah. Coming up from Dragonflight, which I thought was an amazing expansion. I thought they did really good with Dragonflight. Good job on Blizzard's part. Um, I guess yeah. before we get into the war within, Maiden, I'll start with you. What's your thoughts on Dragonflight, and are you excited for the war within? Um, Dragonflight, I just like the uh, new uh, aspect for flying, because I've always liked the, uh, you have to go down to gain momentum and then fly up. Like, I know it's ripped from other games, but I mean, what game hasn't ripped from another game? For sure. <laughs> so, yeah. so I like that aspect. And I, I just love how the island looks. Um, you seeing all the aspects, helping them out. All of it's just been really amazing. Nice. Uh, Hero, what about you? I personally think it's a huge improvement from Shadowlands, but then again, that would be quite easy. Yeah, yeah. Um, other than that, I'd say I like the way that they read it talents in this regard. Um, it feels like I got more power out of my talents than I did before Dragonflight. I feel like that we did get a little too overpowered uh, going into Season 3. Uh, feeling a little too strong here and there. But other than that, I feel like that's your stat squish that can be done. Um, the raids are fun. I think the... Areas looked awesome, and indeed the flying is just great. I really like that. Yeah, me too. I thought uh, dragon flying has been really cool, and 
Um, what was I going to mention? Yeah, so with Dragonflight, I've really enjoyed the expansion. Um, I took a little bit of a break from playing WoW for a little bit. Um, I did play through every expansion, and then uh, Shadowlands, I kind of dropped off like a lot of other people. Uh, but that did come back for Dragonflight because I wanted to experience it. I, I thought it was a great expansion. My favorite expansion is Cataclysm, so <laughs> I'm kind of a one-off person. Um, but at least I didn't say Shadowlands, right? So... Um, I, if you yep. would have said Shadow Ends, I would have quit. <laughs> yep, no, I would have left. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny because I know most people, when they think of their favorite expansion, they're like Burning Crusade, Wrath, you know, the early days of WoW. But Wrath, and I bring yep. up Cataclysm, yeah. people Wrath are like, are you crazy? Here. <laughs> Yeah, but I, I just enjoyed Cataclysm because that's the time I really got into World of Warcraft, like when I was younger. So uh, I played through Burning a little bit. I played through Wrath a little bit, but I was too young to understand the game. So when I really started playing was in Cataclysm. So that's why it kind of just stuck with me for the longest time. Um, and then Miss, of course, was yeah. an amazing expansion. So, uh, uh, yeah. But with the newest expansion coming out, The World Within, we have some new uh, revealed hero talent trees that are going to be added to your talent, like hero trees, right? So they're going to be like an additional talent trees that you can put on. Um, let's talk about those a little bit. I know we want to start from the top, which is with Death Knight. We have three main um, hero talent trees that are going to be coming with Death Knight. That's Deathbringer. The Deathbringer tree is for Blood and Frost Death Knights. We have Rider of the Apocalypse, which is Rider of the Apocalypse Tree is for Frost and Unholy Death Knights. And then we have San Sandlane, right? Did I say that right, Jerry? Yep, you did. Okay. The uh, also known as Dark Fallen. Yeah, Dark Fallen. There you go. Is the Sandlane Tree is for Unholy and Blood Death Knights. So, uh, Hero, let's start with you. What are you thinking of the Death Knight Trees right now? So, as a DK main myself, I really like um, the way that they're going with this. Um... Deathbringer being more frost blood, of course. Um, I really like the way that they went with the marking and the uh, way that they did it. Um, uh, bringing back like the way it was in Wrath, I would say. And then like Rider of the Apocalypse making DK no longer being the wheelchair class that they are right now. Um, <laughs> being us, how slow they are, allowing us to basically get the Paladin ability. And then like Sane Lane, I think it's really awesome that they referenced that in the talent trees because they didn't get a lot of love while they were really important in the lore of Dead Knights. Okay. Um, Maiden, what are you thinking so far about Death Knight? Um, I am actually agreeing with everything here I said. I, I love how uh, Rider of the Apocalypse definitely gets that buff, kind of like the uh, the priests do with the uh, Divine Steed. Because Death, I, I have been yelled at a couple of times in keys for uh, being very slow on my Death Knight. And so I'm really hoping that will change it for that one. Um... For Saint Lane, um, I main unholy, but I've been looking into blood, so I hope Saint Lane will help me with the transfer into uh being a blood DK. Nice, okay, yeah, I'm I'm with you on there. I every time I played DK, I always mained unholy as well, and I just thought unholy was the I don't know the coolest class because of the ghouls that you could spawn and all that. So I just like yeah. that there. That was I don't that was always my favorite thing about playing a Death Knight. Um. I guess with every expansion, there's always something new. Uh, Hero, you being a Death Knight main, what has been like your favorite expansion for playing a Death Knight? So, um, this is going to be very controversial, probably, but I like the way that Death Knights are now um, mm -hmm. here in Dragonflight, the way that um, it is fully rotation based. Um, I like, I just like the way that it is. Uh, I don't like the four set, however, right now, but you know, that, that can be fixed later on. Yeah. Um, other than that, I really like, um, the way that we now don't have to like manage different kind of runes, stuff like that. I like the way that my dead strike would either do well or not well, depending on how I manage it and stuff like that. I think it's great. So uh, I would say right now is the best state I felt as a blood DK myself. I have to agree with you because I think in Dragonflight they've really done really well with all the classes. So good job on Blizzard's part for revamping everything. Um, so I guess that brings us down to the last question here for Death Knight. 
uh, unless anybody had anybody else to mention before we did this, um, what would you guys roll probably out of these three classes? Uh, Maiden, starting with you. Starting with you. I'm looking into it. I would definitely go Sand Lane. Sand Lane? Because, Sand lane? yeah, I'm, tra- I'm wanting to transfer into blood. And like I said before, I would really hope that it would transfer me into it better. But if I was still going to go Unholy, I would probably go Rider of the Apocalypse just for the uh, speed boost cool. and uh, hopefully better stuff. Okay. Uh, Hero, what about you? I personally would be a Deathbringer. Um, I think the way that they look uh, with the things that we're going to get is really cool. I think it will um, be a unique experience. I will look at what I enjoy the most, though. I cannot say that yet, but it, that looks like I would uh, would be like a unique experience that I would like to see. Cool. Yeah, I'm kind of with Main here. I probably would do Sand Lane myself. Um, I think it's cool going from Unholy and then going into Blood. So, all right. Well, any final comments on Death Knight before we move on to Demon Hunter? No. Um, I, I think it's cool that um, from Rider of the Apocalypse, it kind of gives the Lord of the Rings vibes. Like yes. the knights um, <laughs> yes. that yes, ride out on their horses. Yeah, uh, exactly. that, that's what Death Knights are based off anyway. And I think that's cool that we're finally getting the mobility with the horse and stuff. Um, I think it's interesting as well because it only allows you to do it with the Arceus Death Charger, um, which is the DK mount. So I think that's really cool. And I like that um, they use the horsemen now um, with it. Um, like actually fighting with you i think that's really cool and i think that's um quite interesting on how they're gonna do that dang it man you made me want to maybe be roll brighter the apocalypse set of ceylon now <laughs> Celine, <so laughs> that, that, that's why that's why i picked either one yeah that's cool all right awesome awesome all right well let's move on to demon hunter um so far i only see one here i don't know if you guys see a different or more but I only see... No, there's just one for now. Aldri Reaver, right? Did I yep. say that? Yep. Okay. Yep. Uh, Aldrachi Reaver. There we go. The Aldrachi Reaver tree is for Havoc and Vengeance Demon Hunter, so it's a mix. Um, I'm assuming they're going to have more, right? This isn't just one, is I it? I don't think so. We only have two um, specializations right oh, now, so yeah, they right. just combined those two. Kind of sucks. Um, but I understand. I mean, there's only two, so... Um, here let's start off with you. What uh, what's your thoughts on the Demon Hunter tree so far? So, as someone that does a lot of out of bounds, I'm really excited to see the Vengeful Retreat being able to uh, cast a second time after casting it already within three seconds. I think that will make a lot of difference for out of bounds stuff. Other than that, um, after taking a quick look on it, I don't think it will be that much different uh, playstyle wise the, yeah. that we do now in combat I think it will just enhance the abilities that we already have which uh, I personally find disappointing I would like to see um, Demon Hunter getting like a unique feel from it instead of just feeling more powerful with the abilities that we already had Gosh, yeah. is Blizzard trying to make Demon Hunters even more broken with the second vengeful retreat? <laughs> For getting uh, out of bounds? Breaking the game? I think so, yes. That seems like it. Maiden, what's your uh, opinion on the Demon Hunter class so far? I'm I'm really agreeing with what Hero said. Other than the uh, vengeful retreat, the second charge, basically, it seems like all they did was like either give you uh, more shards or... Um, just like upping your uh, attacks or whatever, anything. Or, um, can't find the words. Uh, lowering the cooldown, anything like that. It just seems they really want to break Demon Hunters and make them even more overpowered than they even are. Yeah, I agree with you. And one thing that really sticks out to me is the escalation. escalation. Uh, each, success, each success successive enhanced success. ability deals 10% increased damage with the effect of the second enhancement is increased by 100%. Like, yep. you're right. Like, they're trying to make them more broken than they already are. Um, yeah, you got, do you, and... yeah, that's crazy. 
Oh, sorry. Were you gonna say main? Say main. Uh, throw of the flight. After consuming both empowerments, you gain throw of the flight, increasing your attack speed by fifteen seconds by uh fifteen percent for five seconds. And yeah, uh, that's you a gain thirty percent to deal damage and increase your healing. One thing I notice so, about yeah. demon hunters is like, is like they are crazy they tanks and they can never die can in dungeons <laughs> for whatever reason. Their healing is just insane. And you have never seen a good DK. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was going to say on my demon hunter, I went into mythic Algathar and uh, mythic Academy. That's one. Um, and I went up to where the tree boss is. I pulled everything around him, and I was able to solo it all and kill everything, and then went straight to the boss. And I didn't even go below fifty percent health. Oh, jeez. So that's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. I don't know how to play Demon Hunter either. <laughs> so. Man, it just shows. I guess. Do you, do you guys both think that Demon Hunter is an easier class to play out of all the classes? You do not have a lot of buttons to do. Um, I feel like, and this is me personally, uh, Demon Hunter to play well, like it has a high skill ceiling. You can play Demon Hunter, but to actually master a Demon Hunter is way harder. And there's a big difference between someone that actually knows what they're doing and someone that just does something. Both can get the job done, but you can uh, see the difference between the two. Mm. And I would I would say the easiest class by far. Most people, in fact, I I would argue all people would agree is Hunter, DM Hunter. Mm. It's the easiest mm. class. To be all I would the, disagree, yeah. actually. Mm. What would you oh. say is the easiest? Uh, I, I, I think bear form uh, druid currently is the easiest class to play. Mm. Tank wise, I would say probably yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's not too many buttons for druid bear, right? Well, there are a lot of buttons, just don't no need for them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All yeah, right. And they're. Right. Ooh. Yeah. Cool. Oh, were we gonna say mid? I was just gonna say, uh, and their uh, damage reduction, their defenses, and their heals, just like two OP. Yeah, definitely. Cause can't you can't you raise your armor by like three hundred some percent on a druid? Or... You can raise it yeah. a lot by like an actual crap ton. Hmm. Because you can you can basically uh, whenever it's like lit up, you can just spam iron fur and it increase your. Uh, armor jeez it's crazy well any final thoughts on the demon hunter before we actually go into the druid actually no not really not really all right cool so let's go into the druid um now i, I will be honest about you i haven't played too much druid in my time of wow i mean i i've made druids here and there and i've leveled them up to somewhat so i'm not going to be an expert here so but we do have three. We have Druid of the Claw, which is the Druid of the Claw trees for Feral and Guardian Druids. We have Aloon's Chosen, the Aloon's Chosen trees for Balance and Guardian Druids. And then we have Keeper of the Grove, which is the Keeper of the Grove trees for Restoration and Balance Druids. So, if uh, you scroll down a little, you can oh, see four. And Wildstalker. Oh, four. nice. Okay. The Wildstalker trees for Feral and Restoration Druids. Ah, cool. Okay. I'm glad you mentioned that. Thank you, Hero. Yeah. No um, problem. So, I don't know, who wants to start off talking about Druids? Or what's their favorite class you see out of these four? So, um, balance-wise, I think Druid of the Claw will be a problem. Um, with, the way that it, it, with the way that it, it seems, at least. Um, I've looked over this quite a bit. Compared them to the rest, I think that will be absolutely insane to get a with the Loons Chosen. Um, I think that's a team with like the war within, right? Um, everything is going to be broken, so mm -hmm. um, I think it's interesting though because when I see uh, balance and guardian druid in a, lo a loon's chosen, um, I do not see that a lot. Uh, back, uh, what I see is a lot of balance but less guardian. Um, I know that now these days. Uh, Guardian Druids could use Moonfire and stuff like that a lot as well. 
So I think the mix was already kind of there. I think it's interesting how they went further into that. Other than that, I'd say that uh, um, they're going to be great tanks. The healers are not going to be too happy with this. I see a lot of ways that they did not get that much of a buff. It's more DPS focused, sadly. I would have loved to see differently. Do you guys think... Wildstalker is going to be a little broken just because you're going to be doing damage and healing yourselves at the same time. <laughs> like, that's insane, that's you know, insane. that they mix I mean, damage and restoration druids. I mean, they already kind of have that because you were able to go into cat form while being a uh, resto healer. That's true. Yeah, that's true. and how you teach that was already happening, so. Yeah, just capitalizing on it now. Yeah, basically. Even more. That because that's what I would do on my uh, druid in a uh, 13, is I would go feral. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. It, I've seen it happen in like 25s and above. Um, and the uh, keys that I've tanked, I've seen my healer do, do that. Um, yeah. As a blood I don't need much healing. So, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I, would, I just would have loved to see more capital, uh, more capital on like uh, the healing. And now they focus more on DPS, which I find sad. Um, Maiden, what do you see yourself choosing out of these four classes? Uh, let's see, but I've tried to go feral again, and I can't really do that one. Um, I'm having a lot of trouble with, uh, getting the druid rotation down total. Uh, I've been really good with healing on them, and I started to try tanking. So I would probably, uh go either Keeper of the Grove or Wildstalker, just for the healing, but I mean, it just depends on how it all turns out when they come out. Yeah. I'm kind of with Arrow on the Druid of the Claw. Yeah. I think they're going to have a hard time balancing that out. It's just going to be really broken. Yeah. Oh. But yeah, I think Druid looks like a fun class to play, especially in... Um, the war within so i'm excited for it i gotta get into druid more because i know druid also is pretty good at out of bounds stuff aren't they with like their stuff where they can pull each other like the to their um what do you call the treants or whatever hero i don't know maybe you can correct me here i do not know what you're talking about i'm sorry <laughs> is there an ability where uh heroes put down or heroes druids put down something on the ground and they can like pull themselves oh, to uh, 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 Pulls enemies uh, back to it, and that's the uh, vortex. Mm. Um, but dru druids can pull themselves to other people with um, wild charge. Ah, uh, see, maybe, yeah. maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Okay. And yeah, and you have to be in human form. Ah, uh, okay. Or, uh, or whatever you are, form the All right. original form. Maybe I'm getting mixed up here. See, I don't play too much druid, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, uh, well, any final comments on Druids before we move on to Evoker? I just would love to see what all they do with them. Yeah, I think it's going to be a fun class to see. Uh, I would like to see how they will balance this. I'm scared of that. No pun intended, right? Balance it. Yeah. No pun intended. <laughs> no. Cool. All right, let's uh, let's move on to the Evoker class. We have Chrono Warden, which is the tree for preservation. Uh, sorry, preservation and augmentation evokers. We have Flame Shifter, which is the tree for evasion. E sorry, ev devastation and preservation evokers. And then we have the Scale Commander tree is for augmentation and devastation evokers. So, devastation. Um, sorry, devastation. I, I, Thank you. I I would also like the chain. Uh, point out it's flame shaper, not shifter. Oh, did I say shifter? Did I say shifter? Yeah. <laughs> We're on like a normal <laughs> OOB ATN video right now. I'm pronouncing everything wrong. You're good. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, Maiden, I guess let's start with you. What's what's your thing on the evoker right now? Um, I personally, I just didn't like augmentation when it first came out. I like I knew it was gonna be bad, like damage wise and buff other people. I just didn't like how how you had to play like that. 
Um, evokers in general, I've not really liked because I don't like you having to hold a button or like press it to cast uh up to a certain number, and it it just really like threw me off. I'm like I I guess you could say I'm not like an advanced player and very uh into the uh, gameplay like that. Hey, that's okay. Me too. I'm like a casual player, so <laughs> I kind of just chill. Yeah. Uh, Flame Shaper, though, with the end goal, sounds like it does the same thing Immolation Aura does for a, a Demon Hunter. Hmm. What do you think? What do you think about that whole like, spell so far? Um. It. It just. It sounds the same, except you engulf your target in Dragon Flame instead of yourself. Hmm. So, with how it says, so basically, it's kind of like Living Flame, where if you're clicked on a um, group member, it increases the healing, but if you're clicked on an enemy, it increases the damage that is done to him. And I kind of like that. kind of like how that's going to be. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Um, What would you pick out of these three, you think? Uh, out of these three, Flame Shaper really sounds better to me. But And Skull Commander sounds really... Or Scale Commander sounds better to me cool. as well. With the uh, mass eruption, mass disintegrate, because you can hit multiple people with disintegrate, and that just sounds really cool. Yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like uh, sounds like sounds like Kaiba, sounds like Kaiba doing a disintegrate with the blue eyes yeah. white dragon yeah. on Yu Gi Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good luck. <laughs> All right, <laughs> uh, hero. What are you feeling about Evoker this coming up expansion? So, on Chrono Warden, I'm really curious to what this warp ability will be like, because it says hover now warp shoot through time and space. I wonder if they're going to mm. make it like a um, mage blink or something else. I will look forward to seeing it, because that might yes. allow us for more out of bounds. Yes. Um, yes. Like things to do. Um, other than that, I feel like Skill Commander will be off the charts damage wise. Um, it's a really strong looking. I think that um, those will be back into the meta if uh, this does not get like a squish on the stats, I feel like. I think this will be meta making. Hmm. So what do you have to choose out of the three? What are you thinking? Scale Commander? Well, uh, as a out-of-bounds person, I would say Chrono Warden. I would love to see that, uh, how that works out. But as like someone that does Mythic Plus and uh, Mythic Rating, I would say Scale Commander here. Cool. 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 You know, I'll be honest with both of you. I couldn't get into the Evoker class. This has been my least favorite like class slash race they've introduced in a while. So... Sorry, uh, sorry, yeah. people, <laughs> but I just I, couldn't really I, connect with this. I agree with that. Actually, I I've gotten like to level seventy, and I haven't touched them. So. Me too, <laughs> me too. I just couldn't really get into the Evoker class. So I mean, good for people that love them, but I just uh, I don't know why why play Evoker when you can play Demon Hunter, so, especially for out of bound stuff. <laughs> yeah. So, but I get the whole dragon you know, fantasy thing as well. Like, people want to play as dragon stuff, so that's cool. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I agree. So, I guess, so we before I, guess I before, before we go on to Hunter, I forgot to ask for each yeah. one. Um, On a scale of 1 to 10 so far, yeah. what do you guys rate the Death Knight? Yeah. We'll go down before we get to Hunter. Uh, Main, what do you rate the Death Knight class on a scale of 1 to 10? Um, I... Honestly, I would put the Death Knight up there because the tanking is phenomenal, and I I really am in love with the Unholy. I haven't really played Frost much, but that's just a personal preference, mainly because they don't have a pet, and I just love Unholy so much for it. 
But I I can really see him getting a lot better with the uh, hero talents. Cool. What would you rate it out of one to ten? You think? I'd say right now it's about an eight, but an eight? hero talents eight. might bring it up a little bit. Cool. Um, hero, what about you for Death Knight? I would say it's definitely a nine or above. Um, reason wow. being is that they really bring up the fucking Death Knight, um, like fantasy like the dark riders the actual like marking for death like they, they're bringing the fantasy and the lore of that knights actually into play into the gameplay which i really like yeah i'm with you both i'm gonna give a death knight also about an eight out of ten because i love the writer of the apocalypse that is so cool and especially the apocalypse now move army of the dead and you can call upon all four horsemen that's so cool <laughs> yeah um all right for demon hunter hero what are you giving what are you giving uh the war within demon hunter so far so i think they could have done a better way or like could have put in a little more effort i would say it's four honestly mm. um they might be really strong but i don't like the design of things i would have loved to see like more buttons to press stuff like that this will not really do a gameplay change and i don't like that i, I don't yeah. see how they put in a lot of effort into this honestly it's just a lot of stats getting increased yeah what about you main i i i i have to agree with uh hero it's about a five for me because yeah uh, like like gameplay wise nothing really does change yeah i'm with you both i mean it's kind of a lazy lazy tree this time around so maybe they'll change in the future who knows knows? sorry man i didn't mean to cut you off (laughs) No, you're fine. I'm um, done. I am going to give it a bonus point. So Hero gave it a 4 out of 10. I'm going to give it a 5 just because you get the double vengeful retreat. <laughs> I think that helps out the class because it's going to be awesome for OOB, right? So, all right. Um, Maiden, let's start with you. What about Druid? Um, I really, like, started to love Druid. So, honestly, I'd give it about a 7. Nice, okay. Um, and with all the, all the talents, I think it's going to bring it up to about an 8. Dang, okay. Alright. Um, Hero, what about you for Druid? I would give Druid like a 7. Um, reason being is because with some of the abilities, I don't feel like um, they capitalize enough on uh, stuff. I really like that we finally get a way to get closer to a loon in this case. A loon being like the ultimate mm-hmm. druid li- right for balance. I really like that we get like a little few in that. I would have loved to, you know, um, see us um, transforming into like one of the loon's chosen, like we see Tyrande do. Um, stuff like that. We get like bear actually making a difference now. Um, with like being this ultimate bear with Druid of the Claw. Um, I would have loved to see more um, healer Druid stuff though, because right now I don't really see that uh, a lot though. Yeah, yeah, I think Restoration's struggling for sure. Um, well, in your guys' opinion, to go kind of off on a side note, what do you think is the best healing class in the game at the moment? In Dragonflight or the War Within? Uh, I would say going into the War Within from Dragonflight. Um, I personally see, and it, uh, this is what we will see later on, I see Priest being really strong in that regard, and Shamans are gonna get a buff as well with the War Within, mm-hmm. which we will all get there later on. Okay. What about you, Min? What about you, Min? I was honestly going to say Priest, yeah. Because I know Holy has been good there for a while, and then Discipline started going up there, getting really good. I personally have PTSD with uh, Discipline. I've died way too many times with this. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you both on Druid, by the way. I I like that they're doing... I, I mean, it's not too versatile, like Hero had mentioned, but I, I think it would be still a cool change. I think they're going on the right path, especially for balance as well, but I wish they would bring that more of a, more to light and you could be more in the role. So I do agree there. All right, let's move on. Uh, Hero, what are you thinking about Evoker? What's your scale of 1 to 10? So with Evoker, I would personally say that it's just going to be broken. Um, other than that, design-wise, I still don't 
it, just like druids, right? We're just going more into what we already had and the same with Demon Hunter. Um, I don't really see a lot of changes gameplay-wise in that. I would have loved to see more change in the way that we see them, uh, the way that we play them. Uh, and honestly, so far, I don't see a lot of that happening. Um, but that could just be me. Mm. Uh, Maiden, what about you? What about you? Uh, personally, I have not really looked into evokers because, as I said, I don't really enjoy them. Um, but right. gameplay wise, they are just gonna continue to be broken for a while until yeah. Blizzard actually gets their shit together. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. <laughs> I'm with you. Yeah, same. Um, same. I haven't played too much Evoker, like I'm agree with Mayton here, because I just couldn't really get into the class. But I can see Scale Commander is gonna be off the charts with damage for sure. Yeah. And, but Chrono yeah. Ward, I'm with you, Hero, on that out of bounds stuff. That's gonna be interesting to see how that works out. Yep. All right, let's move on to my favorite class in the game. So everybody can boo me. Um, I love Hunter. I've, I've been a Hunter main for years, ever since I started playing WoW. So uh, I still main a Hunter even today over Demon Hunter. I know, surprising to everybody. Um, playing so much Demon Hunter. So I, I guess I'll start with the Hunter. I am looking at both of them, and I do agree with you, Maiden. I think Beast Mastery is very, very easy to do. So I have to lean more towards the pack leader here. I love Beast Mastery just because I I'm a huge pet collector, so I like collecting all the cool pets and all that. Um, but I do see that there's not too much of a difference coming into the new expansion. Everything looks pretty much about the same. Um, I do like that they're giving you an extra chance to reset the cooldown of kill command on Frenzied Tear. Tear. Yeah. Uh, which I think will be nice, but that would just give you more damage. I mean, that's all Hunter is, right? It's just damage. So there's nothing really too special about this. I don't know. Main, what are you thinking about Hunter? See, um, I'm thinking Pack Leader is actually really good because of the uh, cooldown for Kill Command, which you always want to use Kill Command like on cooldown because it's you're a big damage dealer. But uh, for me, as a Hunter main myself, my uh my hunter is a night uh blood elf and it has the dark ranger outfit and i will be god if i don't go for dark ranger <laughs> that's, cool. Fit, that's cool it will fit my aesthetic and everything else and i like how there is gonna be black arrow which basically to me would sound like what sylvanas does when she shoots out her bow and it comes out with the chain obviously it's not going to be that yeah but yeah. the fact that it will do shadow damage to everyone that's and then cool you'll have that's other cool. yeah, yeah then you have other shit in here like dark hounds which will come out have a chance to manifest and then we'll rush your target that sounds fucking amazing yeah and it I does wanna see how i want to see how dark ranger plays i'm jealous of your dark ranger um Grand's mod going on there. That's cool. Oh yeah. Um, um I actually <laughs> Oh go ahead, go ahead. Oh go ahead, go ahead. Um yeah, I got yeah, it was part of the uh when we reclaim Lorder on is when I got the uh Dark Ranger outfit. Nice, nice. Now what are you rating uh this uh, out of ten? Dark Dark Ranger, I'm saying that's ten out of ten. I don't care. <laughs> what about Pack Leader? <laughs> Pack leader, I would say it's uh, it's up there, seven, eight out of ten. Nice. All right, all right. Hero, what are you thinking? About so hunter? with like, I might not be a hunter main myself. I do play hunter though every now and then. I'd like to do it. Uh, do some. Uh, I run twenties with them, so I would say I know their kit quite well. Mm -hmm. Um, so far, um, I don't like pack leader actually. Um, the way that I see it, it's just more kill command, stuff like that, which you already play around yeah. a lot. That That's basically your entire kit, which I do not like. Um, I would have loved to see more versatility in the way that Hunter can play. I like the way that they did it with Dark Ranger, however, being like more the in the shadows from a force, uh, like sniper mm -hmm. kind of thing, slowly whittling them down with like poison yeah. type things. 
I think it's interesting how they made one of the talents uh, made you able to heal yourself and your pet by 15% of all shadow damage. I think that's interesting. Um, that will make your pet die less often while uh, doing mythic plaster raids, stuff like that. Um, I also think that might uh, make a difference in hunter survivability, which isn't the greatest right now, especially in higher keys. Um, so I think oh, yeah. that for the dark rangers they did a good job uh with the pack leader of course it makes the pet fantasy making your pet the main uh damage dealer instead of you uh, it is something that's there and i like that they did that i just think they should have done it differently yeah i'm with you there i'm with you do you, do you guys think it's weird they don't have a third one that they mix survival and marksmanship or do you think that would be uh, too much that's that's just so far this is just what they can show us for now ah, yeah okay okay i, I was They're... gonna say honestly hunter only has like two and a half classes yeah survival that's true is not a real class <laughs> but yet they do top the charts compared to the other two Honestly, if they are played honestly, properly. I miss old school survival back in the day because, like, I miss you know the old explosive shot and all that with the yeah, uh, wailing yeah, arrow, serpent sting. I, I mean, it hurt back in Wrath. And you should go play survival because survival has all that. I know, I know, I know. I just don't like the. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like the close combat quarter with Hunter. I don't know. I miss yeah. the old school where you could be range and melee at the same time. Like, I don't know. I also, I also love my two pets. I can't get rid of my two pets. I also can't because they're exotic pets, and I, I just don't want to get rid of them. Yeah, I'm with you. That's why I always roll Beastmaster. It's hard to get rid of your cool pets, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's oh. Hard to get rid of. Uh, by the way, Hero, did you say your rating for this? What was your 1 out of 10 rating for Hunters coming up? Uh, I would say it's like a seven and a half for this one i really like what they did with dark ranger i would have loved to see uh, a different way of pack leader but i don't think that it's bad i think it's good that they capitalize on the pet doing a lot of the work and i think that's really cool i just would would have loved to see it differently wait you guys don't think kill command more kill command is so much more fun what <laughs> mm, no thanks. No, uh, I'll, I'll skip no. that carpal tunnel. I I already I already have trouble enough trouble as it is with uh keeping up with my kill command. Me too. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, yeah. That, Blizzard I, was a little lazy with pack leader, so I do agree. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, if there's no final comments on Hunter, let's move on to Mage. Um. So. so. We have Frostfire, which is for Fire and Frost Mages, and then we have Spell Slinger, which is for Arcane and Frost. Um, Hero, let's start with you. What are you thinking of Mage? What's your first thoughts? So, with Mage, with the Frostfire and stuff like that, um, we already had this in the past, um, and I noticed this with a lot of things, actually, with the War Within. A lot of these were, back in the day, um, Glyphs um these remind me a lot of glyphs uh yes. and i see yeah. that a lot back with um the mages here that uh, i just see a lot of glyphs that we used to have back in the day some of these uh of for some of the classes as well are direct copies from them mm. uh, i've noticed so with the mage i feel like they've actually been lazy as well I think they will be interesting though, because now you're gonna have to, especially with like the frost fire, you're gonna have to think about using your frost and then your fire and then back and forth with that. You can't just spam one button and then uh, that that being your main damage rotation with, for example, arcane, and then we have spell slinger for your arcane. And uh, I think it's interesting the way they went with it. I would love to see how this plays out and how they will play in the future i'd have to see i cannot make a direct opinion on this yet what's your uh do you have a rating yet or you gotta wait till the expansion i honestly have to wait uh, until the expansion because i have no idea how this will play out mm, okay what about you min uh, honestly, same. I have to agree with Hero and uh, wait and see how it all plays out. Okay. Uh, Frostfire, to me, sounds uh, pretty good. 
because adding the aspect of fire and frost together uh, really intrigues me and in seeing how all the damage is going to work uh, close together. Uh, like frost mastery and fire mastery. If if uh, the enemy is going to get both or if like one is going to proc over the other or what. You know what? This podcast was going great until the Fire Nation attacked. Uh, anyone? <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Main, do you have oh a rating, or do you need to wait till the War Within comes out? I would honestly have to wait. Okay. All right. I'm with you both. I'm with you both. Any final thoughts on Mage before we move on to Monk? Mm, uh, I'm curious to see what they will do for the other spec, honestly. Um, I'm wondering... Yeah how that will end up um, with like the talents and stuff like that. Other than that, I think this is going to be an interesting change to Mage. Um, mm -hmm. I think they're either going to be really weak or way too hard to actually master. And the ones yeah. who do are probably either going to be broken or complaining that it's not for the amount of time that they're having to put in to master. We do have an Arcane and a Frost. Do you guys think we're going to get an Arcane and a Fire? Uh, possibly, actually. I mean, that was confirmed. It's just that we can't see it yet. Um, the arcane and um, uh, fire was gonna be called sun fury. Oh, okay. Oh, cool, yeah. cool. Yeah, and for demon Hunt, we were gonna get another one as well called fell scar stuff like that. That's gonna end. Uh, for hunter, we're gonna get sentinel as one. Uh, there are a lot of things like that um, that we were still going to get. We just don't know the talents of them yet. Those are not cool. even out yet. Okay. Awesome. Uh, and uh, one last thing. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. you can call me butter. You can call me jealous or anything. But in my guild, I can't wait to see how much the um, top mage does. Considering that he is frost and he does about 300, 400k single target. Mm. So I can't wait to see how much he does now. Because oh, it's when, it, be when, it's a, yeah, when it's a pack of like seven things, he can get up to about a million damage. That's pretty standard for mages now these days at like how your keys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, especially since he knows how to play very well, and he will not fucking teach me how to play for us. <laughs> Dang. He was like, I will not help you, and I'm like, bitch, I can't even play Hunter. <laughs> I'm with you, no. Maiden. Don't worry. Don't worry. That's funny. <laughs> Uh, all right, well, let's move on to Monk. Um, Nathan, what is your rating on the mage? Oh, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to do, I'm kind of with you guys, but I think I'm going to give it a, I'm going to do like about a five out of 10. I'm going to give it half just because I don't know what it's going to be like yet. And I do agree on, you need to see it first because I think people, I do agree with Maiden, people and both Hero. I do agree with you both that... I think once mages actually master the class, they're going to be insane. Um, or then you're going to have those who are going to master it so much that they're going to complain about it. <laughs> so I don't think you have a big balance, you know. Uh, but I'll probably give it like a 5 out of 10 for now. Um, and that may change in the future once it releases, though. So Because I just don't know the full effect of it. Because what if it comes out, but it like bombs and doesn't actually do well? So... Who knows? Yeah, Who knows? I could see that. But I don't see how it couldn't because all these look really good for the mage class. So, yeah. All right, let's move on to monk. Um, we have conduit of the celestials is a for miss weaver and windwalker monks, and then you have shadow pond, which is for brewmaster and windwalker monks. Uh, main, you want to start with you? What are you thinking of the monk class? Uh well first of all Shadow Pan sounds uh, it's fitting for the area because there are the Shadow Pan monks and whatnot. Um honestly I'm looking at it now and it just seems like it increases uh damage or healing or anything really um 
not too many new spells for Shadow Pan that I can see. Yeah, I didn't notice too many different changes here for the monk, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Um, but for a conduit of the Celestials, um, it looks like there's going to be some new things like Zenu's Guidance, which teaching of the monastery has a 15% chance to refund a charge when consumed. So there's some new passives that I kind of like. Um, and I, I'm really curious to see how it plays. What do you think of a part of the Jade Serpent under the Conduit? Because, like, 100% cooldown, that's pretty insane. Yeah, that one's actually really insane. Like, what the hell? Um, Piro, what are you thinking of Monk? So, I'm looking at Shadow Pan, and I think that will be really strong. Like, actually, like, probably top tier thing, which monks have been waiting for for a while. Um, I think 10% uh, armor penetration just base is really strong as well. Agreed. Um, yeah. That will boost damage for the monk by a crap ton, and they will get like a lot of agility and like um, other type of stuff, like really a lot. And then I look at Conduit of the Celestials, and I like the way that they made this. They made you play a bit around Celestial Conduit, the new ability that they'll be introducing, but they didn't make the entire tree around it, which I also really like. They also did a few other tweaks here and there to like the way you will play the game, which I really like. I like when new stuff um, changes the way you play your class uh, to some degree. Yeah, I'm with you both. Um, and I agree on that Shadow Pond with just that base 10%. Like, that's insane. <laughs> Shredding 10% of people's armor off the bat. I mean, I can't imagine if it stacks even more, but that's going to be pretty crazy. Um, all right, Maiden, what, what, what do you give him? What do you give him the monk class? One out of 10. Um, I'm going to give it like a seven because I was looking at Shadow Pan even more. Uh, predictive training every time you dodge or parry an attack, it reduces the damage that you take for 10, 10% for uh, six seconds. Which, um, pair that with, um, being able to do 10% more damage to enemies, that is going to make you really strong. Yeah, I agree. And, and mind you, um, each one, you eventually are going to be able to get every talent. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot about that, you're right. You get right. 10 talent points, so you're only going to miss out on one of the yeah. talents. That's insane. That's insane. Yeah. What are you thinking, Hero, about Monk? What are you giving the rating? I think uh, for me it would be an 8, purely because I like the way that they did it. Um, for the Conduit, uh, the Shadow Pad is going to be absolutely broken. I like the way that they thought about it, though. Um, but it is going to be broken the way that it is looking now. Yeah, I'm also going to give an 8 as well, just because I agree with Maiden on the whole theme aspect of it. I think Shadow Pad is cool. And then uh, just that 10% off the bat with the armor penetration that Hero had mentioned. But then on the conduit side, I do like Heart of the Jade Serpent. That's a really cool move. But it's awesome that you're going to get every single one of these except for one. So, so yep, I'll do an 8 to 10 as well. Any final thoughts on Monk? Um, I'd be interested in how they are going to quote-unquote nerf Monk um, once we get there. I, I would like to see how broken they really are going to be. I wonder if I would be wrong on this, because I know that Monk hasn't been the strongest lately. I know that much, but I think this is a bit overkill on it. I wonder how that's going to go. Yeah. All right. Let's move on to uh, Paladin. Paladin. Let's talk about Paladin for a minute. Uh, we have Herald of the Sun, which is Holy and Retribution Paladins. We have Lightsmith, which is for Holy and Protection. And then we have Templar, which is Retribution and Protection Paladins. Uh, Main, you want to kick us off with Paladin? What are you thinking of Paladin so far? Um, I like how Paladins have already have already gotten very OP 
as it stands right now. Um, Haven't they always? Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> everyone. <laughs> yeah. Every, everyone recently, uh, especially now, have swapped over to Pally. Like, everyone in my guild is swapping over to Pally. Um, most people love uh, Rhett and how Rhett plays. Um, but as for Prod, I've been looking into it and been wanting to play it, too. I'm thinking Templar, actually. Looks yeah, really Templar good. looks fun. Uh, yeah, I'm... What are you liking about Templar? Uh, I like Light Guidance, the uh, very first one, uh, definitely. Because uh, I tier is replaced with Hammer of Light for 12 seconds. Yeah, that's going to be really nice to have. Yeah, and then after casting Hammer of Light, you call down an Empyrean Hammer on a nearby enemy for two seconds. It's gonna be Which insane. Really, it's, gonna be insane. It's, it's really good, yeah. And then you all have another one, uh, Disrupted Ruling, which additionally, Eye of Tear will grant you three Holy Power, which will give you more to be able to do abilities and whatnot. Man, Pallies are gonna combo like great to hear. What's going on? Oh, uh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hero, what are you thinking? So, um, currently, the way that Paladin plays is roll your face over the keyboard and it'll be all right. <laughs> Dang, um, they took that away from Hunter finally, huh? Oh, yeah. well, no, with Hunter, no, you just no, get carpet no. tunnel by pressing <laughs> the key that your uh, kill command is on. Yeah. <laughs> but Sorry. other than that, I think with Herald of the Sun, um, they might change the way that you play a little bit um i'd have to see that though i think they went into the right direction with that one though with templar i feel like we are going from throwing hammers to throwing even more hammers all around um which you know that i don't like this we're basically still having the same design that we have all along um just throwing a lot of hammers, rolling your face over the keyboard, and it'll be all right. I don't like that at all. Um, because right now, if the, if anything comes of cooldown from Palace, and I'm talking about, like, I'm not talking from my own experience either. I'm talking about a friend of mine that plays, like, fucking 30 keys, that like, plus 30, that plays Paladin, and he says, I use everything the second it comes of cooldown. Jeez. And with him, it works. If that's the case, I'm sorry, but that's bad class design. Um, yeah. And I'm not seeing any difference here with the Paladin Templar. I like the way that they went with Lightsmith, though. I don't think it will be strong, though, um, sadly. Yeah. Um, yeah. Other than that, I think uh, with Lightsmith and Heralds of the Sun, they're going into the right direction. With Templar, I don't like it. Um, it's going to be strong, though. I just want to throw my shield more as much as possible with Avengers Shield. So. <laughs> well, of course. I feel like Captain America. <laughs> yeah. I was about to say that. Yeah, that's the coolest thing that's I think on Paladins. Um, uh, Maiden, what are you giving the rating here? I, I got to give them an 8. Honestly, I, I've enjoyed playing Pally for what how much I have. Uh, it's not been much. <laughs> but... <laughs> uh, Hero, what about you? I'd have to give it a seven. If not for Templar, it would be higher. Ah, shoot. Okay. Yeah. I thought you were gonna say not for Lightsmith, but um, I think I'm gonna agree with you both. I'm gonna be. I'm probably gonna do about a seven as well. Um, I think they're going in a good direction with Paladin. Um, I do agree with Hero. I think Lightsmith is gonna be a little weaker just because it's holy and protection based. But um, you know, it is cool that they're giving those extra tools to when you're tanking. To have extra healing and all that, so I think that would be good. Yeah. All right. Any final uh, word on Paladin before we move on to Priest? I just want to give it an honorable mention. Uh, and Lightsmith, the very middle talent, it looks like a man got split down the middle. It does. That looks cool. 
<laughs> Looks like they yeah, were like... <laughs> meditating or something. They got split down the middle. Yeah, that, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on to Priest. Um, they haven't shown too much for Priest yet, just Oracle so far, um, which is Disciplined and Holy Priest. Uh, hero. Want me, to fill you, want me to fill you in on what the other two would be ca called? Yes, please. Go for yes, it. Please. So yeah, the yeah. other two would be called Void Weaver and Archon. Ooh. So for now, we only have the healing one, the full healing one. Um, mm -hmm. We're missing the two DPS ones, though, which, um, you know, yeah, right now we're seeing the healing one. I think th this will be top tier healing coming from them. Oh, yeah. It's absolutely insane. Um, like, uh, they're using PI Power Infusion, something that gives um, haste right now to a certain player, like a crap ton of haste. Um, they're changing that with the uh, first talent already, which I think is an interesting take. Um, PI was always something that you would just give to your top DPS at that moment in time, and you know, and it, make them even pump even harder um but i like the way that it looks right now i think it will be fun to play priest as a healer or at least more fun yeah. you will feel your heals more powerful um and just the way that it plays you're gonna play around this new version of pi in this regard a lot more which i think it's an interesting take what about you, Maiden? Uh, I'm really liking, uh, because I know Discipline is more single target, and Holy is kind of AoE-ish healing, so I, I like how they're combining them together. Um, I like Foreseen Circumstances, the one in the middle on the very right, um, because basically it looks like you would just throw Guardian Spirit like on a tank or whatnot, and then you would use foreseen circumstances whenever they need it, and it will reduce damage that they take by 10%, and it will extend Guardian Spirit for two seconds. That's insane. Yeah. A lot. How do you guys? How do you guys think these talents are going to affect dungeon raids and stuff? Because if we're getting super overpowered, where does Blizzard go from here? I mean, just more overpowered than the next expansions coming up. I either that or another level squish. Hmm. Probably. Or uh, item level or something along the lines. Uh, stat squish. They're gonna have to make us weaker one way or another because yeah. we are already dealing with this right now that we're getting to absurd numbers again yeah. to the point yeah. where everyone is getting really strong. And with these new talents, looking at them, it really scares me a lot with the strength that we're going to get to. I hope that the raids will get way harder with this in mind, like way harder. We've been cruising through these new raids quite fast, especially like a major sale went really fast through that. And um, also with uh, what was called Abra's. Ambrose, we went through really fast as well. Um, the only real roadblocks that you have is like the last boss for rock uh, for a major sale and like Nimue, a lot of people struggled on, I know of. Um, other than that, with um, Ambrose, when that just came out, some people got stuck on like um, experiments or Scarn and then Sargret. But that's about it. That were the only roadblocks, really. I mean, we had Macmorex mm -hmm. being Loot Piata, and now, right now, we have um, Fulcros being a Loot Piata, pretty much. Mm -hmm. And I don't like that. I don't like that each boss um, right now is kind of weak compared to the players. Um, you do the run like once or twice, get your vault, get your force at because of your vault and then run through the raid like it's nothing. That's basically how it's been right now. And I think that with the war within, that will just get worse and worse um, unless they do a really power squish or make the raids really more powerful if we're getting all of these abilities. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you. 
And yeah. just to piggyback off both of you with the Oracle, uh, it's insane. You know, Discipline and Holy Priest definitely have their own styles of healing, but mixing them together now, it's going to be pretty insane. And, yeah. you know, Priests are already top-notch healers to begin with, so this is going to just make them even more crazy insane. So I would say my rating for this is definitely going to be a 9 out of 10. I think they're going in a really great direction. I think Priests are, like I agree with you both, are going to be probably the top healer in the War Within coming up. Um, and I'm, I'm excited to see what they're going. Uh, main, what's your rating? Um, I, I would have to see what the, uh, other two are, uh, for damage wise before I could like fully give them. But, uh, for a healing perspective, I would give it about an eight. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hero. Yeah, I would give it an eight and a half for just the healing one that we see right now. I don't know how they're going to do it to the DPS one, so I can't judge that yet. But uh, what I'm seeing right now with the healing priest, I'm happy with it. It's just that um, I would have loved to see more new stuff to it instead of um, just the one thing that they build around. But the one thing that they did build around, I'm really happy with how it looks. So um, that's why I'm giving it an eight and a half. Cool. All right. Awesome. Any final uh, comments on priests before we move on to rogue? Curious yeah. to what they will do with DPS. Yeah, yeah. definitely. We're going to have to see what they're going to do with that. Yep, for sure. All right. Let's move on to rogue. We got a couple more left here. Um, let's talk about trickster. It's for outlaw and. Uh... Sorry, I'm getting distracted here. What's the other? Yeah, subtle. Uh, so so we have for the other two that we're gonna get uh, for the names Dead Stalker and Fate uh, Fate Bound. Oh, we don't have those yet. Okay. Um. Uh, here you wanna talk about Rogue real quick? You wanna kick us off with Trickster? What's your thoughts on I... on ability Rogues? So. From what we can see is that this is going to be either like really strong or really weak. Um, they're pretty much doing a full focus on, um, I would say, single target. A lot of single target damage I can see yeah. here. Um, but I'll have to see the way that it goes. This might be very underwhelming depending on the strength of how this will actually play out. Um, it's either a combination of being quite strong or really weak, depending on how this plays out, honestly, on how the proc chances are, because that's what it is. It's a lot of proc chance that I'm seeing. Um, they're also making it to where you take reduced damage from certain targets, which might help with how squishy they are lately. Yeah. Um, so that's something that I think is interesting. Right. Other than that, I think this is going into the right direction with like uh for example a cloud cover ability i think that might uh like you know the tricks their way going with smoke bombs stuff like that i think that's cool yeah i i'll be honest with you both i never really got into rogue i found it a really boring class so it just was never my class i don't know i like to hit my face against the keyboard as a hunter so a rogue's too boring for me I mean, um, scarpet tunnel yeah. that you're getting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what about you, Vaden? What's your thoughts on Rogue? Uh, I like how most of these talents actually complement other talents, like uh, Devious Distraction, uh, where like Killing Spree or Secret Technique causes targets to be phased for five seconds, and whenever you take five percent reduced damage from phased targets for uh, smoke which is the one above it that those two just go so good together yeah agreed but yeah uh, it really looks like going more to single target uh focused yeah i can't really speak on rogue too much but i do like the theme they're going for here it really fits the rogue and with all the trickery and all the stuff they're trying to do so so, I mean, just from what I'm looking at, from not seeing the other two classes, just seeing Trickster, I'm definitely going to give it about a 7 out of 10. I think they're going in the right direction with this. Um, yeah. What about you, Maiden? What are you giving just for Trickster? Uh, seven and a half, eight. Okay. Uh, what about you, Hero? 
I would give it a seven as well. I'm with you on, you know, we're all missing tricks through here, and I like the way that they're going. Um, it's just that I think that, you know, um, I would have loved to see a little more of it, um, not just around the paste like mechanic, but other than that, I think it's quite cool the way that they're going with this. Yeah. Any final thoughts on Rogue guys before we move on to Shaman? All Not right. really. Not really. All right, let's move on to Shaman. So we got the Farseer tree, or Farseer tree, which is for elemental and restoration shamans, which is only one tree. What's the other two, Hero? So we have Stormbringer and Totamic. Uh, mm -hmm. So that that's the other two. Oh, snap. Okay. Oh, snap. okay. Um... Made you want to kick us off a shaman? What do you think of shaman? What do you think of shaman? Um, honestly, um, looking at first here, I am more interested in the enhancement in resto shamans. Me too. I'm with you. Um, be yeah, because I know enhancement with their uh buff, and then them also being able to heal would actually be really cool. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Uh, heroed by you. So I will actually look at Force here. Um, by looking at it, um, and I've looked over this before, I think they're going to be an interesting healer class again, playing around Riptide a lot more than they used to. I think that it's cool that you're going to have increased mana and stuff like that um, with like either Force here, um, if you choose Restoration, or like if you play Force here for Elemental, then you get getting extra Maelstrom and ancestral swiftness yeah i think it's an interesting ability um to in, like replace your nature swiftness with that we currently have um other than that i'd say this is um not too interesting to me i know it you had um change too much you had mentioned that shaman's going to be up there with priests, especially for top healers um, do you think Shaman will ever out heal Priest, or do you think Priest will always no, out heal Shaman? I don't, I don't think there will be a world in which that happens. I just think that they are going to be good healers with mm. the way that it's looking. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm kind of with you yeah. both. I think seeing what I'm seeing here with the cooldown of you get more Maelstrom, I think that's going to be really good. Um, I'm curious to see what they're going to do with the enhancement. Um, class with more with that and the other two hero class that we're not seeing yet so because so. i definitely do play enhancement more if anything um so i'm with you main uh but yeah i mean i like the direction they're going so but i'm just curious see i wish they would give you all three trees because it would be cool to see more but it's hard to compare <laughs> it's still you know? a work in progress yeah, yeah they haven't yeah. they haven't uh revealed them yet it's, it's the okay. fact that we can already see this is already quite huge i would say yeah, yeah. yeah. very yeah. good um all right man what are you giving shaman uh, honestly um a little biased because my gm is a resto shaman main um i'd give him about an eight because i know uh healing wise they are really good not as good as priest which is my what my co-gm is um but they are really up there cool hero what about you so I'd say, um, I wouldn't call them that good, honestly. I would give this like a five. I don't see too much of a difference in your gameplay. Um, yeah, when not too you many. Play Farce here, honestly. It's just a replacement or like better abilities of what you already had and like a few minor differences other than that. Yeah, I don't know. Sure. Yeah, I'm with you. I mean, I'm going to give it about a 6 out of 10. Without, just because of the Maelstrom, you get a little more of that. But, like, there's not too many changes coming with our series. So, we'll definitely have to see what the other hero talents bring. Yeah. Any final comments on Shaman before we move on to Warlock? I can kind of see where you guys are coming from. So, I, I'd probably lower my uh, rating down, like, 1 or 2. So, probably about a 6 or a 7, yeah. Okay. Because other than, yeah, like primordial capacity where it increases your mana, your total mana, 
or uh, like the momentum, which uh, increases spell cast duration. Uh, kind of nothing really much better. Definitely. All right, let's move on to Warlock. Let's finish up with Warlock and Warrior. Um, so Warlock, we got Diabolist. Uh, Dia, Diab. Gosh dang it, I can't say this. Diabolist. Diabolist, thank you. Uh, is for Demonology and Destruction Warlocks, and then we got Hellcaller, which is for Affliction and Destruction Warlocks. Um, Maiden, let's start with you. What are you thinking of Warlock? May I interrupt you before Maiden goes? Oh yeah, uh, go ahead. So the third one is going to be called Soul Harvester. Ooh, that's fancy. That's fancy. I'm actually actually hero. Do you want to go first? Oh hero, okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, so far, I would say the Hellcaller one, um, replacing your Corruption or Immolate, which is your overtime damaging ability for the respective um, ability with Wither is really cool. I think that it might be really strong. Um, the f I, I like the last ability for Hellcaller a lot, the way that they're going about it. Um, other than that, I'd say for a Hellcaller, I don't think it's too interesting the way that it like plays out. They're playing a lot of around their Wither now, which I think is cool for like a Hellcaller uh, type ability for like an uh, affliction destruction combo. As for Diabolist, I really like what they've done here. Um, I think this will change the way that um, they play the game right now um with the way that this goes i think you will have a bit more in your rotation than you would use to and that's what i like to see just changing up a little bit of your rotation with the new talents that you get and i think that um diabolist will do that to, uh, a little bit at least now come on can we be honest here is there actually any other talent tree outside of demonology and warlock right no I'm just saying that because most people pick demonology. I mean, I know I, mean, I always yeah. pick demonology. Uh, I like the affliction, just running around a mob and then just slowly wiggling it down. I love doing that, like especially for like bigger mobs that you would usually take a while to kill. Yeah. It's like uh, I really like that, and in PvP perspective, I really like the affliction as well. Just running around a fucking pillar, just slowly whittling you down. Fucking love that <laughs> shit. It's awesome. What about you, Maiden? What's uh, your thoughts uh, on Warlock? Uh, I, I agree with Hero there. Uh, it's really fun to just whittle shit down. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I do I love do playing love uh, Demonology, or whichever yeah, one has the Amp Implosion. I can't remember if it's Demonology or Destruction. Yeah, it is uh, Demonology. Demonology, okay. Um, I, I just love Imp Implosion, and uh, seeing a lot of Imps run in just blow up. So I think uh, Diabolist is going to be... Diabolist or Dib... However, it's probably actually said. Um, I mean... But I like... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like how um, it's going to play... Uh, with everything, and then with Hellcaller, the uh, yeah. Wither being replaced, and then uh, Zalan's uh, Ferocity, what? which increases Shadow Damage and Fire Damage by 5%. Yeah, I'm, I'm with gonna, you. Yeah, that's going to be really um, good for people that want to choose that one, just for the damage increase there. But other than that, I just think they're going to be a little better, but playstyle is still going to be very similar. Yeah, I mean, Warlock is the Warlock dots is class to begin with, right? So seeing Hellcaller, yeah. Affliction, and Destruction mix, that's going to be insane for burning insane. people down. I mean, you already do a crazy yeah. amount of damage with Destruction. I can't imagine having Affliction dots on top of it. So... Yeah. Um, that's gonna be cool. I'm I'm gonna give this I know for Warlock and I do like Hellcar, but um I think I'm gonna give it right now from not seeing what was the third one again? You said Soul Stealer, whatever hero? Yeah, Soul Harvester. Soul Harvester. Um I'm gonna give it a 
probably about a seven out of ten. I think it they're going in a cool direction, but I'm excited to see what Soul Harvester has to offer. What about you guys? Um, I would give it like an eight out of ten. I really like the way that they're going at this. Um, I love to see the way that Soul Harvester will go, but so far I will give it an eight. It will change the way you play your class at least a little bit, not too much, which I really like. I just that the two points that I'm missing is that I would like to see a little more variation um, in uh, the abilities in the trees. It's all centered around the one new ability that you will get, and with Diabolist, I'd like to see a little more. Uh, clarification on stuff and what stuff really does because it's kind of confusing at this moment in time on how stuff will play out and i'm still missing soul harvester here as well yeah what about you min give it about a seven and a half until i see soul harvester i can't really say much because it doesn't look like a lot's going to like change game play wise I, I do like uh for Hellcaller how uh the two dots are gonna turn into wither. But other than that, I I don't know. It's it's gonna be a little weird. Alright, cool. Any final thoughts on Warlock before we move on to Warrior, our last topic of the night? I I, I just need to see uh so uh so whatever it was. Soul Harvester. Harv thank you, Soul Harvester. I, I just I gotta just see gotta... that one before I can give it a full rating. Okay. Cool. Alright, let's uh, move on to our last class and we'll wrap it up here. We got Warrior, which is Colossus for Arms and Protection Warriors. We got Mountain Thane, which is Fury and Protection. And we got Slayer, which is Arms and Fury. Um... Hero, you want to kick off Warrior? I'd say you go first for once. Okay, yeah, I can go first. So what I'm so seeing here see. right now, right off the bat, is Slayer is going to be insane just because you're mixing Arms and Fury. I mean, <laughs> I mean, Fury, you do a lot of combo damage, but like you know, with Arms, you're doing like single, single part, single damage, right? So it's going to be amazing that they're going to be mixing those two together and getting that burst damage out of Fury and Arms. Um, from what I'm seeing, it's not going to be too big of a change from what Warriors are already playing now, but I do like the, um, uh, where'd it go? It was the, uh, oh, the, uh, okay, so under Slayer, you go the third one on the right in the middle, the, uh, choose one, the tunnel vision or thrill of the kill. Uh, that's mm -hmm. going to be cool with your auto attack speed increase while you're in combat, or you can choose the execute increase your auto attack speed for 10 seconds. I think both of those are really good, and I think that's going to help you out a lot with executing people. Um, I like that Slayer's focus, you get the overpower on arms and the bloodthirst damage increase by 10%, just having that 10% that with the automatic 10% bonus of damage, that's already insane, kind of like... Uh, what we were talking about up with the 10% uh, armor shred right off the bat for, uh, was it Monk? Yeah, it was the, the martial yeah. precision. So uh, for me, if I'm going to roll one of these classes, I'm like in Slayer. But, I mean, I do like that they're mixing arms or protection as well for like more of tanks. But then I kind of like the diversity between Mountain Thane with Fury and protection as well. So if you kind of want to go just all out crazy tank damage... <laughs> Which is pretty cool. Uh, but if you want to do Colossus, where you could have the arms of protection, where it's kind of a little more slower, but you kind of get that overall bigger damage boost. Um, I don't know. I'm liking it. I think my rating for Warrior right now is definitely going to be about, about a 7 out of 10. I want to see how these are going to play out more. So, um, Hero, what are you thinking for Warrior? Uh, I, th I think this is absolutely insane. This is madness. Um, what I'm looking at, um, first of all, I'm going to start with the one that I think will be the worst, uh, which is Mountain Thane. I like the way that they're fucking... You well, I don't like it. I, I, I think it's interesting how they're using those lightning strikes like they're a fucking shaman, right? Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't get that. Yeah. A, a lot of um, triggers for lightning strikes, stuff like that. 
Um, a lot of Avatar stuff. Uh, I don't think it will be too strong. I think it will definitely change the way you play the game, though. So that's what I do like. Other than that, I don't think it will be that strong. I might be wrong on that, though. Um, then I'll go to the second strongest one, which will be Colossus. I think Colossus will be quite strong. It will get a lot of stun um, stuff in here. Uh, we have on the right side of the tree from Colossus, uh, the first one um, Shockwave stun duration is increased by two seconds or Earthquaker Shockwave also knocks enemies into the air and its cooldown is reduced by five seconds. That seems pretty strong to me. We have um, other stuff like uh, I think it's interesting that they're gonna increase your size with a talent. Um, I would like to see how that plays out. A O B or O B. <laughs> yep, yep, you already know. I think that will be <laughs> quite interesting. And it just looks like a strong, um, a decently strong. I would say this is probably the most balanced one that there is right now, to yeah. my opinion. I would say this is balanced, a healthy amount of balance. You will be strong, but it's still balanced, which I like. Um, other than that, um, I'll be going to Slayer, and I'm looking at this, and I don't know what they were smoking, but I want some. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because <laughs> this is insane. The tunnel fishing one, I don't know how much more attack speed it will give you, but let's say you're on a raid boss, you just keep fucking smashing that boss with your tunnel vision and do absolute insane amounts of damage. And keep in mind, you will only not have one of these abilities, only one. So the rest of these abilities you will all have, all of them, which is absolutely insane. Yeah. Um, especially combined with Slayer's Dominance, it's gonna melt everything in their way and Unrelenting Onslaught on top of that just absolutely destroys anything. I say that Slayer is so far to me looks like the strongest one of all of the Agreed. classes above. Agreed. Yeah. What do you think of Maiden? Uh, I'm really liking Slayer. Um, I'm looking at the one talent on the very right, on the top row. Uh, Relentless Pursuit. I feel like that was a glyph at one point, because I feel like I remember Charge being able to remove impairing effects and giving you a speed boost, so I feel like I've heard that before. But either way, that is going to be very helpful. Um, like, if you get movement impaired and it the, whatever you're fighting like jumps away you can just charge and get rid of your slow or whatever um as for everything else um like slayer's focus um it out overpowered for arms or bloodthirst for fury increases your damage um, as for everything else, uh, Mountain Thane, I agree if Mountain Thane probably won't be the best, uh, in terms for gameplay, uh, but Colossus does look to be at least decent, and it probably gets some people to pick it. I'm looking over with everything like so like no stranger to pain total damage prevented by ignore pain is increased by 15% or taking damage has a low chance to give you a second wind for two seconds for rally so I, I could see Colossus being good and I can also see Slayer being really good and Slayer just being a fucking trip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Slayer's gonna be insane, especially in PvP. For sure. 
um and just outputting in just pve outputting as well PVE. but damn with bosses yeah. like hero was talking about um yeah yeah where's gonna be a fun one well any final any thoughts before we wrap this up um on all the you guys have a favorite out of all of these that we've talked about i well i i so bias is gonna be a dark ranger for hunter but honestly i may swap my main to be warrior because i i want to play slayer so bad <laughs> yeah slayer is gonna just, be fun and, and just go crazy with it um I'm with you there. I because I'm a hunter main. I think hunter's looking like a lot of fun this next expansion. Yeah. But I'm definitely excited to play Slayer as well and Warrior. But ah, uh, it's gonna be tough. What other Evoker? Evoker. Probably my least favorite out of all these. Um, yeah. Um, but for Dru yeah, Druid. I'm thinking like Keeper of the Grove or Alun's Chosen. Uh, for DK, okay, definitely it's going to be like right over the apocalypse. Yeah, I was going to say that. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's going to be sick. Get me out of this wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you think, Hero? What's your favorite out of all these? So, I'll probably be playing Deadbringer or Salen, but fucking right over the apocalypse, I'll have to try that. Yeah. It's insane how they made that fantasy come out. Um, other than that, I think my favorite one so far is gonna be, well, Rider of the Apocalypse, I'd have to say. I do like the way that they went with, uh, what's it called again? Um, yeah. Conduit of the Celestials, I like that. And I like the way that they went with uh, Diabolist, I like that as well. Yeah, I have to agree with both of you. Yeah. So I think Blizzard's heading in the right direction. Um, obviously it's going to make everything really OP, but let's see if they how they can balance things out. So. What isn't OP in this fucking game anymore? Yeah, that's true. That's true. And agree. if we all know Blizzard, they don't know how to balance things. So oh, no. let's see how this goes. This is going to be one of shit too. <laughs> They're, so. they're gonna have to listen to a month of you need to nerf this class. Oh yeah, the I mean, forms to are gonna fair, blow up. We're, get, we're, we're getting a second ventral retreat though. Maybe there's yeah. fun allowed. That's true. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe they're acknowledging OOB people. So. Um, also, how 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 long until Slayer gets super nerfed in Warrior? What do you guys think? I, I I give it a week. <laughs> yeah, you're giving a lot of credit to Blizzard actually responding to shit here. <laughs> I I think it will take a long while, because usually what Blizzard does is w like watch from a distance for like fucking three months, then patch it, give people time to learn their class. Because sometimes right from the get go something might seem strong on paper and in practice in the beginning, but then as people learn their class and how it works now it might actually not seem that much stronger compared to other things but i think it will, slayer will be one of those things that will be stronger than the other things yeah that's me personally though. i agree uh i'd have to see i think it would take at least two months <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah all right i, I, I know Ooh. i know for a fact that it's not gonna t it's gonna take people less than a week to complain about slayer Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. All right. Well, um, if we don't have any more final thoughts, uh, we can definitely wrap this up. Uh, I'm excited for the war within. We're definitely going to be talking about it more coming up on the podcast. Um, as before oh, yeah. it, it launches, uh, maybe we can even talk about our favorite OOB places. Um, and if you guys have any other, uh, topics that we can talk about, um, we definitely can cover them. So, any final thoughts for thank me? Thank you for having me. Yeah. I'd yeah. like to thank you for having me. And, yeah. Anytime, uh, guys. This opportunity. We'll be doing this more. This is fun. This is fun. <laughs> I agree. So, Thanks uh, for having me. And I, and I enjoyed the fun. Cool. All right, guys. Well, everyone, if, thank you for listening. If you made it to the end of the video, <laughs> I know this is a long one, but um, uh, as always, 
my name is Nathan, and uh, this is uh, Maiden and uh, Hero. So we will catch you guys on the next one. Take care. Have a good night.